I'm here in Sweden, Malmo, and we're at the little square here. And as you can see, when my cameraman pales around and shows you the little square we're in, Aaron and I just ate uh, an elk burger. He actually had a hamburger. I went to the elk because I think it was a little more exotic. I think maybe it was, I think it was actually Swedish elk I had, believe it or not. And it was pretty good. So, and I had some nice jasmine rice with that. And that's our first official meal here, aside from the hotel food. Uh, we have a lot to do, obviously. We have the BMR IFBB Championships. That's going to be taking place on Friday and Saturday. Actually, it's more on Saturday. The check-in is tomorrow. Today, we're looking and exploring. And hopefully, I won't hurt myself because the last time I explored a foreign country with Aaron, I wound up going home the next day. But uh, I have a good feeling about this place. Uh, I'm liking the weather. It's nice and crisp here. Uh, it's a little different than Australia where it was very hot and humid. Right here, it's, they're just going into spring, but it's a little cooler than New York right now. And as you can see, uh, I have two jackets on. Aaron is ill-dressed. We're, 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 we're the only one wearing shorts. People think we're crazy. They're looking at us like we're nuts. Uh, but that would probably typify what we do on a regular basis anyway. So let's, uh, let's take a look around the square and see what we find. And uh, maybe we'll come up with some nice gifts for some of the people back home. All right, so I wanted to introduce you guys to the griffin here. This is a very important statue in Malmo history. Um, it talks about uh, the griffin that represents uh, the city itself, Malmo. And you can see below is the scared man. It's kind of, this is the iron scared man, which represents the king of Malmo in the, in the early 16th centuries. Now, if you look down here, you'll notice the words Fatvaten ar dat at vord, which basically means the king rules the castle. And that's what they're referring to here. But in, this, in the era of the, of the uh, griffin, king didn't do so well. And basically this whole thing was leveled by a nuclear explosive, Actually, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't, it just looked like, it looked cool when Dave said to come talk about the Griffin. So, so we're here in uh, Malamo, and we don't know really what we're doing. And we're looking for history and uh, cool stuff to show you. My number one priority is to go find tchotchkes. And uh, if you guys don't know what a tchotchke is, that's what my dad used to call like little nothings. You buy stuff like uh, to bring home and well, like you know, put, somewhere, put somewhere like we have all these tables you know with all like the pictures and then all the tchotchkes I've assembled from my other trips so I'm here to buy a tchotchke in Malmo and that is my number one goal Alright, so Dave and, here, Dave and I are here at a very typical tchotchke store. And they have all the, the things that you would normally find that, that I've usually purchased in the past, like the bells. Always have a bell. Sweden bell. I have a Prague bell. I have a Spain bell. I've got an Australia bell. I have an India bell. I might need to have a Sweden bell. Another thing is shot glasses. I love Sweden. This is a typical tchotchke. Um, that is in a low price range. Now, me and Dave are looking at some artwork, some Swedish artwork, and we were going to see debate on what I can get that would add to the new house, uh, that would be uh, would add to the ambiance, some Swedish ambiance to the house. But you still have to get a chachi. So we could go with a Swedish mug, or we could go with a Viking ship. That's pretty cool. All in tchotchke price range 385 which sounds like a lot but it's six crone to the dollar so that makes that Dave what 40 bucks something like that so I'm gonna go with two things I'm gonna do the bell but I'm gonna do this bell oh it doesn't home oh, let's find one that rings so what I do is I sit this on the man desk at home and when I'm thirsty and I'm working like the Dave and I are doing the shot and Dariel knows to run, to run with the water, or a sandwich, or whatever. I decided to go with the the mug, the bell for Dariel, and for Asher, the little horse, the Swedish horse. Uh, at my convincing, I talked Aaron into going into this coffee shop so I can get a double espresso, because you know, when in Rome, you do like the Romans do. And I ran into some people that actually know us, Fadi and Ava, my new good friends from Sweden here. Yes, you're in, in town for the show. 
yes uh, for the competition yeah yeah tomorrow we will be there and uh, you know it's I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm shocked. You know, it's the, the, the first time I see you yeah. live. You know, I'm yeah. always see you. You know, interview better or worse than you yeah. thought. Yeah. What do you think? So, um, you know, I have a ton. You know, God loved me because uh, I, see, I see you. I see you on the picture today. So. Of course, he's better. He's very big. You know, I. I I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. Finally, someone said I'm big. Say, you know. All right, I'm standing outside the Beyond Borg clothing store. Now for those of you who don't know, Bjorn Borg was a champion tennis player back in the, I believe it was the 80s, and uh, he had some tremendous matches. He's obviously from Sweden. He has his own clothing line here, and uh, they kind of look a little risque, some of the stuff. I don't know if I would actually wear them. They're a little bit of, a little, <laughs> a little too extreme, but let's go inside. Maybe we can take a look. Maybe I can buy a pair of underwear or something. Hi. Mind if we have a video in here? Oh, it's so for our website. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. So what? What's Bjorn Borg? Is this the tennis player Bjorn Borg store? Yeah. And what is what is uh, what is he known for? What styles in here? Like, what would I buy? Someone like myself buy in here? We have the sports collection. Right, but what you know? What would I wear and not be embarrassed to wear though? Like some of the stuff is a little risque, you know. It's a little yeah, it's a little tight. Some nice Do they got t-shirts? What do you got? Is it strictly for tennis? No, it's. See, I wear blue. That's, cool. That's kind of cool. Do you have an extra large? Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll go put one of these on. Yeah, it's gonna be extra large and extra extra large. Oh, oh maybe an Eric can get one. All right, I'm gonna go. Can I put this guy try it on? You have a dressing room? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, very thin. All right, I got my Bjorn Borg shirt on. I gotta tell you, this is a little small. I'm a little tight, you know. Uh, I think this size is a little. I, mean, I need a double. There's no way you would get into a double extra large. But I do like. I like the uh, the Bjorn Borg uh, image on there. Yeah, huh? I feel like Vinny the Chin.